Welcome to this month's look at some of my favorites in progress projects being made with the Unreal Engine. I've created these to get some eyes on indie or small team projects and to show that Unreal can and is used for more than just super high fidelity 8K million dollar content. Links to the games and relevant socials where possible will be in the description below. And if you're working on a game or a project that you'd like me to take a look at, be sure to let me know. Links may get blocked here, so you can find my email through my about page or find me on Twitter and leave a comment below just to give me a heads up. And of course, be sure to let me know if there's anything that you see here that you'd like to see more of. So in no particular order, number five, Ronin Trail. Play as a wandering Ronin traveling across the Japanese countryside in search of a purpose. Reclaim your lost glory and become a legend. Explore lively environments filled with wildlife and lush vegetation. Catch fish and bugs, hunt animals and forage for mushrooms. Record unique species in your critter book and customize your character with hats, clothing and katanas as you explore the world and defeat foes. Style your outfits to your liking with dyes and different clothing combinations and survive off the land by building campfires and cooking fish. You'll need to equip thicker clothing to survive in the cold as you travel north towards the snowy environments and maintain your katana still by cleaning the blood and sharpening it with whetstones. Cut down your foes with your trusty katana, learn techniques and hone your mastery with the skill-based combat system. Challenge dojos, accept jewels and hunt down bounties on your journey to become the greatest swordsman. Ronin Trail has been in development after a successful Kickstarter and is slated to enter early access soon. This is a stunning game that I can't wait to get my hands on and begin roaming around the beautifully scenic landscapes. Number four. Project Nostalgia. There's not a whole lot to say about this one at the moment, but as soon as I stumbled across the devlogs on YouTube, I knew that I had to include this in the list as one to keep an eye on. Project Nostalgia is a working title with the aim to create a PS1 inspired horror game that will bring back those memories from when life was simpler to give you an awesome story and a familiar feeling. Inspired by games such as Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Shadow Man, MGS, and many other classics. As well as the devlogs on the creators channel that I'd recommend checking out, there's also a demo that aims to show the visual style and the atmosphere that they're aiming for. I'll provide a link to the itch.io page in the description. My nostalgia resides in games like the original Tomb Raider and Max Payne, so this feels like a game that was targeted directly at me and I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Number three, Out of Action. This is another project in the very early stages of development, so there's not a whole lot to say, but as you can see from the footage, it really does sell itself. After catching the attention of people through hype generated by action-packed clips shared on Twitter, I couldn't help but follow up by covering it here. At the very least, it reminds me and others to track the development and see how the project evolves. This is made by a single, incredibly talented developer with over two decades of industry experience as an artist and an animator. You can really see the accumulation of those skills being put to use here, and the game looks like it's going to end up providing a perfect example of what can be done when skilled developers have the freedom to work on projects that implement features that they simply think are cool. Number two. Max the Unifox. This is another game being created using a mix of 2D characters in a 3D modelled world. Whilst in general I've been a fan of this style in other games, I have to admit that overall I'm not sold on the current state of the artistic direction in this one. I definitely hope that over time the art style improves as the solo creator continues to develop their skills. This doesn't just apply to the visual design, but also things like the pickups, which are currently pizza boxes. These will hopefully get an overhaul as well. There's just something about collecting slices of pizza that doesn't have the same appeal as collecting things like gems, rings, and coins, as seen in Collectathon classics. But that could just be me. Visual design and presentation aside, though, what really caught my attention with this one are the game mechanics. Even in its early stages, it's showing promise as being a fun and engaging 3D platformer. 
clearly taking inspiration from Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, which we all know was the last good 3D Sonic. Max has an array of skills including a ground roll, double jump, homing attack and ground pound, all of which have the potential to make navigating a well-made, open world, interesting to explore and to unlock secrets using your different abilities. Overall, I think this project has real potential. I know this genre in general largely has a younger target audience, but I do think it's worth keeping in mind a more mature audience that would potentially also be interested in games like this due to their nostalgia. Of course, if presented in the correct way. Number one, Tilted. Now, I genuinely don't attempt to create a theme around these uh, best of made with videos, but if there is one for this month, it would be something along the line of there's not much to say on this one as it's still in the early stage of development. This is another project that I stumbled across whilst looking for game devlogs to watch in the background. So I'd highly recommend checking out the link below and taking a look at the developer's overview of his process. Mechanically, Tilted is a fairly simple game, essentially a top-down shooter inspired by the classic game Loaded. Visually, it's another game aiming to build upon, but also pay homage to the retro style of the 90s, including things like stepped animations to really make it believable. The solo developer of this one has an artistic background that really shines through at first glance. I do love the style presented here, and I'm looking forward to seeing the kooky character design of the 90s being revisited. The character and design direction is another thing which is highly focused on in the devlog, so again, I definitely recommend checking those out. Also, go check out the art station, it's pretty cool. <laughs> 